Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're working on a new album here with Stamparia's Rose Perfume. And um, I'm making this a very big album uh, in terms of depth. So instead of the normal four pocket pages, we're gonna have six. So as you can see, the spine is quite wide. Normally it's two and a half, this is three and a half inches. And as always, the details for building the album will be in, and when I say album, the base album, will be the second video in the series for the playlist. And it will um, go over the hinge, the pocket pages, and covering the outside of the album. And again, this is gonna be eight and a half by eight and a half by three and a half. Um, so it's gonna be a nice large album. Lots of pages, so tons of room for photos. Two extra pages. Okay. I'm going to use this, which came from the 12 by 12 scrapbook pad. And um, just so you know, I'm using the 12 by 12 scrapbook pad, 12 by 12 backgrounds, the eight by eights in both um, the scrapbook pack and the backgrounds. And I've got a series of um, dies, uh, chipboard, and stickers. So I'll go over all of that detail again in the description. So if you click on the show more, you're gonna see the material list and then that'll be followed by the cut list. Okay, let's get started. We're gonna go ahead and put this down as a cover. <clears throat> this is a very feminine collection. This would also make a great collection to do like um, a desk set or trinket boxes, um, like a little jewelry box. Because it's so feminine. Very, like I said, feminine could also be Mother's Day, a Mother's Day scrapbook album, or a memory book. I don't know what I'm gonna put down here in the corner, but I'm gonna do something with it. Okay, so that is the outside. And then because we have six pages, I'm not gonna do anything fancy on the inside liners, like add pockets, because we're gonna have plenty of pages to work with. This is from the, I think it's one in one. I think this is from the background and this is from the scrapbook. And this is the signature page of the 12 by 12 scrapbook. And I ink the edges with mahogany. Sure, I've got my orientation right. I did a dry fit earlier, but it's always good to double check. Make sure you're staying out of your hinge area.
beautiful. Okay, so we've got our inside liner and our cover. I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna go find our, um, I hate it when that happens with my nail polish. It leaves a mark. Huh, one of the nice things about that gel polish is it doesn't do that. Um, anyways, I'm gonna find our spine and um, our back cover. And then if you're curious, this is that um, book binding tape, white book binding tape that I like to use. It is white on cream, but as you can see, it kind of disappears once you get your cover on. And it's better than having a cracked spine. So I'll be right back. <clears throat> hey everyone, it's Stephanie from Scrap and Create, and I'm back and we're gonna finish the back cover. Oh, I hate it when I do this. This is from the scrapbook pack. Yes, it's from the scrapbook pack. 12 by 12. And I'm just extending the pattern across the spine to the back. Isn't that pretty? It just doesn't go as well. The soft beige background goes better with the cover, but I just love this scroll uh, work here. The Baroque pattern, so pretty elegant. Okay. And then once we get the back and the spine done, we'll set this aside as we focus on the pages that are gonna go inside. And I have a couple pages already cut and laid out, so I'll get to that video immediately. Okay, oops. Everybody ready for Christmas? Can't believe it's here already. After two years of COVID that, did, that took forever, it feels like this year just went by so quick. Okay, probably because we all got out and did things, got busy. Okay, as usual, I'm doing a 16th inch border uh, on this. Let me make sure I've got this going the right direction. Um, nope, it goes this way. On this, uh, this project, um, which means for any cut finished surface, you take an eighth inch off height and eighth inch off width, and then you're gonna get your 16th inch border. I don't give you the cut list for the designer paper. I give you the cut list for all the um, cardstock. And then you have to decide, do you want a 16th inch border or a quarter inch border? Again, to achieve the 16th inch border, you take an eighth off height and width of the finished panel and you'll get a nice tight border like so. Of course, I give myself a little bit of extra room here um, because I don't want to interfere with that spine in any way. Okay. All right, there it is. So there's our cover, our spine, the back, and then our two inside liners, which I've kept relatively simple, make it very easy to mount some pictures here. Okay, now I'm gonna set this aside and we're gonna get started on the pages. <laughs> 